Hello guys, welcome back to Rover's Return and we're a bit we're in a bit of a mess here. We're in a bit of a mess. Now we've been doing very well in the league. I'll show you the manager performance very quickly. We're doing very well. I mean the board can't be happier. But since last time we played Arsenal 3 1 and then we've not lost a game since. We've done very, very well in the league. We beat Everton 2 1, then a nice win against Manchester City. I'll, I'll quickly show you the goals in this game. Right here it is Sterling Goat comes forward first, gets the cross in, and it's a good sliding goal by Son. City not doing well at all this season though. Tonali plays it to Dallow into Dembele. Dembele plays it forward to Adam Armstrong. He puts that in the back of the net. The bread and butter as I said last time and then he puts in the penalty in the 55th minute, which secures us the win. And we, we just did very well against Manchester City, Manchester City then. A one-all draw with Newcastle, decent. I mean, 94th minute equaliser by Newcastle. Unfortunate for us there. Then an advancement through into the from the quarterfinals to the semifinals. Suchek and uh, Pequeno Mago getting us the goal in that game was Salamanca. His, his actual name is Salamanca by the way like Ronaldo Salamanca but I've already got Ronaldo then Penaranda gets us an equalising goal against Aston Villa a decent win there and a 3-1 thrashing against Brighton I'll quickly show you those goals as well here we are so we play the ball forward Margot picks it up and then he's through on goal puts it underneath the keeper great goal by him celebration there then Weghurst scores a penalty for Brighton poor by us to give away and Alaza plays the ball in Falls to Margot. Oh no, it was it fails to Adam Armstrong. Sorry, then Hlozek slots that in the bottom corner, following it up beautifully. Then a beautiful ball over the top. Adam Armstrong finishes with a chip. As we we know, we know him through and through, that is that is how he plays football. He's brilliant at doing that, and he's doing pretty well again. Decent games he's having, but he's not he's not doing as well as previous years. You can see nine goals. It's still it's still very impressive what he's doing out there. More assists this year. Probably because of the introduction of Salamanca. He's picked up a few injuries as well, so he's not played as many games, but he's still a fantastic player, Adam Armstrong. I don't know how, but he is a fantastic player. Then, a 2-0 win against Leeds. Penaranda securing it in the 95th minute. The strike is not having a fantastic game out there, but Hlozek getting two assists in this game, which is very, very good by him. But now, what I want to talk to you about. So, transfers. We've opened the transfer window. Now, I had about seven or eight transfers organised for, I think it was end of contract deals when the contracts end, ended, players would come in. All of these transfers fell through because I've already signed players. Like, because the, the rules are now with the Brexit rules that you can only sign six players, foreign players, under the age of 21. You can only do six per season. Now, I've already done this. My quote is full for this year. I am now struggling to bring in these players. And this man, Thomas Villadson, is a world beater. And I mean, world beat the guy I can't I don't think I've got I'll see if I can find a screenshot of him unreal absolutely unreal player his stats all right he, he goes straight into my side basically he replaces Jared Bowen he's he's that good a player I need him he's 18 he's phenomenal the future of this club this is decided by whether or not I get Valadson in at the end of this year now there's a few teams that want him, and by a few I mean every single club in the world wants him now, but it's by tribunal, so they want to get him on the end of his contract now. It's going to be an interesting one, he does want to come, he wants to treat us as a stepping stone club because he knows he will play. I've had to sacrifice £8.5 million for him to get him in at the end of next year, when as you can see, I, I don't have that many players coming in. I'm not, I, I, I've only got the one coming in so far, so he will be able to join at the end of this year but I mean it's oh, it's an absolute shambles alongside that Alan Barry now Alan Barry is an interesting player this man I'm looking to make him the replacement for Adam Armstrong uh, I, I doesn't, it sounds bad but I'm playing the two up front but with 17 finishing he's absolutely killing it in the, in the championship at the age of 17 and 18 he's doing a really good job for them 17 finishing great in the air great off the ball Unreal physicals for a, a, an 18 year old. Six foot two. He's great passing. I wanted to bring him in. I, I'm trying to bring him in. He's going to cost us around about 25 million, but look at them stats and the way he plays as well. He's going to be one of the future stars of the club. I'm trying to bring him in as well. But yeah, it's an absolute shambles what I've done here. As you can see, the other players down here, they're all cancelled. These three have been cancelled. Thomas Olsen, another decent player. I mean, I'm Nico De Vrij, very good player. I, I probably have to scout him. It's just, I'm, just I've, I'm really upset with myself that I've managed to do this. But today, we carry on. We go forward. I'll tr it's fate if it happens. Tottenham in the FA Cup, actually, not the Carabao Cup. The Carabao Cup, we've drawn Manchester City. So that will be next episode. I'm going to play the second leg only. I'm going to see how we in the first leg see how fair out there we've got Tottenham today we'll focus on this game we're going to bring in Gebby to play in this side because obviously Jev is injured 
Alaza comes off the bench. He's going to be starting at that left back role. And then Tonali. Tonali wants to leave. He has decided he wants to leave for bigger clubs. And that bigger club is City, who are sitting 10. They're sitting nine points off us. They've got a game in hand, but they're sitting nine points off us at the moment. So he wants to go there by, for some strange reason, City are getting tons of money. He's got an £80 million release clause. I'm demanding £80 million for him. I, I'm not selling him for anything less. It's good, probably going to be the goodbye to Tonali. But after three, I'll say in that, he's played good games, but his average range has not been that great. So who knows? Who knows? But he's a fantastic player. There's no denying it. He's a brilliant player. Suchek in there. Dembele, Hlozek. Pequeno Margos picked up an injury. I didn't even... I completely forgot about that. So he's going to have to actually come out. Onana's going to come in. And in fact, we're in a bit of trouble here because Penaranda doesn't have a work permit. I've not applied... I've not applied for his work permit, so he can't come in to replace him. So now we are struggling. Right, hold on. I'm going to have to bring... I'm going to have to bring two players in from the, from the development centre. Now, this is a bit embarrassing, actually, because now we're going to have to play a different style of play. Onana can go a bit further advanced. I trust him to get out there and play a bit more, more advanced. We're going to play balanced against Tottenham away from home because we are playing this deeper formation, as I always say. Onana can come in. He's played pretty well lately as well. To be honest, he could probably actually play up front in that attacking midfielder role, but probably suits, as I, as I say. This, this deeper role down here. Maybe, can we switch that out? No, Tonali can, Tonali can not play there. So I brought in Savic, Amat Savic, who's come back from his loan, progressing pretty well, to be honest. I mean, he looks a really good player out there now. And then Brookbank as well, just a youngster, 17 years of age, just <laughs> comes straight into the side. He looks probably going to be like a winger, actually. Great physicals. Um, but yeah, brought those two in. I mean, this is going to be a throwaway game, if anything. Just hoping we don't pick up many injuries. So let's see how we fare out there. It's going to be a tricky one, but let's submit the team and see how we do. And we have kicked off Tottenham side. Harry Kane up front. I think they've got a Duard in there as well. He's a very good player as now. They're actually on the counter-attack straight away. Anana plays it to Dembele. Can he take it past his man? He has a shot with his left foot from there. He should go across the keeper, really. But they've got a fantastic side. Have Tottenham, Edouard, Liao, as we've had a shot, and he's gone in. Oh, he's going to be offside, isn't he? He's offside. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Hozek is definitely offside there. As the ball falls to him. They're checking the review, but it's going to be disallowed, unfortunately. But yeah, good side by Tottenham Malazzo, playing the ball out again. Suchek's there, and Suchek's put it in. Oh, this corner tactic. I'm not even established this corner tactic. I just have a, a standard one that I just play because I think it makes sense. But Tottenham, not picking up Suchek on the edge of the box there, and he's got a good rifling shot on him. 1-0 already. Seven minutes, eight minutes in. I don't even know to get out what I want to say about Tottenham. Kane, Liao and Eduard, all incredible players going forward. I mean, as Adam Armstrong's on the edge of the box, hold on. We might have another highlight here. Tonali into Gebi. He's coming forward. Dembele now. Nyambe. Can he find a good ball into the box, maybe? Dembele finds Suchek on the edge of the box again. And it's just over. But yeah, interesting side for Tottenham. I'm not going to lie, it's, a, it's probably not the strongest of sides that they could have, but it's still a very strong side with Kane up front as Adam Armstrong has been played through. And what a tackle. What a tackle. I thought that might have been us in on goal then. As Alaza plays the ball in, and Strakosha manages to save that. Foyth at the back, Fane in the middle as well. I think they're relying mo mainly on this front four, front three that they've got. Herrera on the on right hand side, Alaza gets a foot in, but he's left him, and now it falls. To Brahim Diaz, Rafael Leal with a beautiful drop by like chested pass thing that was down to him. He puts it in the back of the net. A poor, poor goal to concede after we've been so dominant in the first few minutes. A ball in. Leal heads that down, sorry, and then Brahim Diaz volleys it into the left hand side of the net. It's a shame, but we're, we're playing pretty well. I can't, honestly, I fancy us for this game. I'm going to, I'm going to encourage the guys because we are playing very well. And let's just see where we can fare. We're going, coming up to half time now, 45th minute. Nothing else I can really say out here other than I'm delighted with your performance. Keep that up. Keep up. That's that that tempo, the the ability we've got out there. And we're doing very well actually. Flozek's gonna have to come off. Who can come on for him? Absolutely no one is. Hlozek! Hold on! Hlozek! I thought that was against us! Hlozek! Right, Hlozek! He's staying on. I'm going to bring him off because he's not having a great game. But Olaza, with the ball into the box, Hlozek beats his man. Six foot two of Hlozek. Puts that into the top right hand corner. Just can't get that. Strakosha. And now, hold on. Re They're checking for a penalty here. And Michael Oliver is given a penalty. 
Now, Larson Yeah has saved the penalty against City. Can he save one against Kane? He can't. It's two all now. As I was just getting a bit ahead of myself there, I thought we might have actually had a decent opportunity. But I am going to have to bring off Flozek, I think. He's looking pretty worse for wear out there. We've only got wing backs. We've got nothing else out there. We're going to bring Dallow on to play at left wing. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Dembele as well, I'm going to have to bring off. Let's bring Ortiz in and see what he can do out there. Now, Edouard's there. Edouard follows it up, follows it up again. Oh, get, to get rid. Get rid, lads. What was that? That was a poor, poor goal to concede. Sessignon plays the ball in. Niambe's there. Kane picks up. Oliver skipped to Edouard. Great block. Another block by Popov. Olaza can't get the ball clear. And that, that's a, that's a really unlucky goal to concede. Really poor by us. I'm going to have to go positive now. Let's fire up the lads, try and get something from the last minutes of this game. But we've got players playing our position. We've got Ortiz playing right wing, who's a defensive midfielder. Gebby now on the ball, plays it out wide to Ortiz. Plays it in now. Magician. The magician. Can he do anything? Can he... Be... Ooh, Ortiz! Ortiz, you tease! Nearly puts that in the top left hand corner. Come on, lads. Last few minutes now. Dig deep. Can we get anything from this game? But it's going to end. 3-2 to Spurs. That was unlucky. Despite the result, I'm happy with that. That was a fantastic game for us. And conceded some absolute rubbish goals. Really poor, 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 poor play by us to really concede them. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Tottenham are a great side. To, to fend against them like that, I'm happy to do so. We are out of the FA Cup in the third round, though, which gives us a bit of Bit of leeway to focus on the Carabao Cup game, which in fact, that's a good point, a lot of injuries for that, which is the next game coming up. But we can also focus on the league, that's the main thing. Trying to get those points in the league to try and finish in the top seven, preferably the top six now, because we need European football, which might, in essence, if Tonali does stay, keep him at the club. An episode full of drama, this one, an absolutely dramatic episode, the transfers, I mean, on the screen now. How, how stupid of me to not get this man in. This man is going to be special. Genuinely. Like, he is unreal. Star player. I've promised it him. You'll have to see next time whether or not he joins. If not, absolute calamity for us. But yeah, hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Ciao.